So uh, as I told you before that this uh, course will have both online and offline. Now the teachers uh, who will actually take this course uh, would have done these three, uh, like four lectures that you saw that Sachin gave now. There will be all this 10 minute thing, although he took a long time explaining because you are face to face. In course, it will be a very short 10 minute uh, uh, video, followed by some quizzes, small quizzes like the way he said. So we will have a lot of quizzes. We just gave you a sample, there will be a lot more when it comes in online. Now assume that uh, people have looked at it okay, for a week and answered those quizzes. Okay. Now then when they come to the a workshop in December, okay. For this course, they'll come as a workshop in December, or it could be uh, your own students who has viewed this lecture for one week, and the next week they come to your class, okay. So then, when in the class, you do some tutorial uh, assign, um, activities which reinforces this uh, whatever they learnt in a more deeper way. So they just learn for ten minutes, and we give them some short quizzes. That's just facts. But now they have to apply it to something. Okay? So first recollection, understanding, application, three basic things that we will be testing. So recollection and understanding will be done online and application to an actual thing will be done in the face to face thing. So what we will do now will be a small activity where we will give you a problem, we will ask you to form groups, okay? like the way you will be doing to your own. Uh, class. So your own class will be a class of teachers. What you have to do them is to break them into small groups of four. Okay. So what I would request you is just form between neighboring tables. Okay. I will we'll give a problem now and you have to solve that problem by this method. Okay. So that is the activity that you will be doing later. But to get a feel of how that is done and uh, uh, we will form small groups now. Okay? So you can form a group, you can form about 4 to 5 per group roughly. Okay? Uh, anyway, there is no particular order because this room is not designed to form this kind of uh, uh, activities. Ideally, uh, what when you have, suppose when you go to the, um, the room that you have for these discussions, it will be ideal if you can have like this. round tables and around round tables you have rooms. So if it is possible, you please uh, set it up in this way. If it is not possible, at least a table where uh, people can sit together. This is not a very ideal place, uh, but uh, try to have something like that. So then in these sessions, what we will do is like we will be connected to your center by um, remote. Right. So we will give this, just as I am giving you the uh, exercise now, the exercise will be posed to you through that audio video link. And then you should coordinate with your small team there and help them understand how to do it better, right? how, uh, how you can improve it. So whatever I am doing now is what you will be doing with your students. Okay? So what we have is just like display failure, this is something which all of us have seen. Okay? Now we open a browser, we uh, type a URL okay? and then the browser says server not responding. Okay? This is the message that comes from server not from the browser. Now what you have to do is to come up with four different hypotheses. Each group will form and come up with four different hypotheses. Now arrange it from simple to complex. Okay, arrange the hypothesis from simple to complex and assume that 
each of the first three simple things fail and that's why you have to go to a more complicated go to the most generic and simple explanation like power failure okay like the way uh, sachin told power failure then one phase failure then plug failure then monitor loose whatever so but try to order it in terms of try for the simplest explanation first okay and then assume that that failed and then what will be the next one so then we will uh, uh, try and appreciate each of these things okay so let's do one simple thing so first let's do a, please form a group or even two or three is fine so please form a group and come up with this hypothesis so this will all be completely activity oriented session there is no lecturing here and then i will ask you to come and present what you thought it was yeah please introduce yourself if you have not met your neighbor please introduce yourself we'll have more time to do but what i'm just going to interrupt you and just get a few comments to see if we are going in the right direction and what how can it be improved okay so this is what you will also have to do don't let them because sometimes if they deviate in some other direction we need to just interrupt and then provide a little bit guidance yes you have a question no, i have the hypothesis oh you have a hypothesis okay so we are going to have so is it the most generic hypothesis yeah please come here yeah please come so try to have the most the simplest one and then uh... hello i am gopal sagarkar from nagpur uh, first hypothesis is a network not working okay hold on hold on so network not working okay this is the hypothesis now which means that you need to find how many people first of all had network not working no 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 don't i don't want comments on i just how many people had the hypothesis network not working all right so what we are going to do now is to see what so what's in the corner gopal. gopal so we'll see what gopal has got as a prediction now what is important in the from the point of view of a prediction if hypothesis is true what else is true you must answer that question hypothesis explains the observation definitely one okay so it's something like this so i have an observation this observation i have a hypothesis means hypothesis explains observation right <coughs> prediction means if hypothesis is true what else is true so that is prediction okay hypothesis explains observation if hypothesis is true what else is so this is also some observable prediction okay so that should be the prediction yes gopal what is the yeah what is the prediction not the hypothesis what is the prediction prediction is that uh, network is not working so no 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 yeah so you're not come up with a prediction no, no. okay so just sit down so come up with a prediction as well yes anybody yes hello power supply launch switch not made on no 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 you are coming up with an explanation hypothesis i i am going to ask for hypothesis is network failure which means there has to be another something which also happens if network fails i want only those people who have got network failure to put their hands up anybody else yeah you had network failure so network failure if network fails it explains this what else does it explain yes sir hypothesis is network failure and prediction is if other computers are available whether they are working on same network or not so this is in prediction no no that's not a prediction say your prediction must be a clearly stated statement if network fails this also happens say that what is that line uh, that computers are if other computers are also not available if. 
not if other computers which are available on the same network whether they are working or not not they no, are you're also asking not a question working. hold on so now uh, yeah we'll have one more there there may be heavy Please traffic sit down. yeah heavy traffic on server no no you're produ producing your hypothesis please give it to them i want a prediction check url no 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 okay wait wait hold on Let, these are very very much possible i just want you to be aware check url is what it's a test check url is a test we don't come to that yet we are we want prediction prediction must be a statement so you make sure that it's very prediction should not be a question prediction should not be a test it is just a twist, uh, this one so there's one more no no you are giving instructions there is no instruction please make it this is distinction is very important prediction is what else will happen no hold on hold on failed no other website will open okay network failure means no other website will open you have to state the sentence like this if the explanation is network failure okay no other website will open okay now i'm just stepping back a little bit i just was i just let it freely but first of all can network failure explain this observation anybody from communication systems communication computer science communications engineering computer science yeah can you explain is this possible at all if network fails will server not responding come i just let it yeah please server not responding Hello. can you just introduce yourself yeah uh, myself rajesh i am from bangalore okay rajesh you just uh, repeat the sentences uh, you said little while before yeah uh, now the one word he used is network failure this more general word i i, I feel and there is now the server not responding the message we'll get only when network is working there is like when i uh, type something and i get server not responding that i'll get only when there is a network uh, intact okay and it is not able to come in, uh, connect to the server okay hold on, hold on. you are coming with the explanation don't come with the explanation <laughs> Yes, I need somebody from. Uh, uh, yes, thanks, Gopal. Uh, sorry, Rajesh. Um, somebody else from IT or communications can comment on network, adding to what Gopal has said. Now, so this is where uh, now a simple problem such as this we are not able to clearly define. So we need to train ourselves even in this. Now, of course. since many of you are not in the area of communication engineering or computer science or web you may not know what are the details so that is why it is necessary for you to learn right we first learn which means we read the literature understand or know what is available and using what is available we give this explanation even before we give this explanation we should may able to sorry we give this explanation first but to give this explanation also we need to be aware we need that knowledge we need the knowledge of being able to explain this and then we can come up with a new prediction okay so now let's go through this exercise again please uh, continue with your discussions now again now your statement should be clear like i said told you it has to be if hypothesis is true what else is true okay so that that answer to that question is for example if not in this particular case first of all you should make sure that your hypothesis explains the observation you cannot have an hypothesis which does not explain the explanation in this particular case it does not but i just let it through it's fine so first of all find an explanation which will find an hypothesis which will explain this okay and then have another thing. continue with your discussions yes i mean continue with your discussions and i will break again after 5 minutes 
Okay, shall we go to the uh, second question, uh, second uh, explanation? Who wants to come up with a hypothesis? Okay, please, can you want to come here? Okay, okay. Just, just wait for the mic, mic to come. Please sit down. I'm Sandhya from Surat. I believe the hypothesis is internet is uh, slow, speed is slow. Okay, hypothesis is internet speed is slow. Okay. Fine. My prediction goes, because I'm uh, connected in a server, there are multiple devices connected in that server, LAN. So all the devices, maybe mobiles or computers connected to that LAN or VAN, are also running slow. Or they also have similar message. Mm. No, no, uh, you're right. The second little bit, you need to modify that. Now, okay. you're saying that internet is slow, right? So if internet, first of all, let's step back and see whether this explains that. Why, why when internet is slow, will you get this server not responding? Huh. So I, I, I hear both positives and negatives. I hear some people saying that it will come. Some people are saying it will not come. Server response, server? Server response time out. Message this is essentially that only. Server not responding is response time out. It's the same thing. Server not responding. I don't want more explanations. You, you, you have an explanation later. That is a hypothesis. Firewall not responding explanation. It's another hypothesis. It's a valid hypothesis. I'm not saying no. But we are currently discussing one hypothesis. We'll discuss only predictions whether First of all, you need to see whether the hypothesis explains observation number one. Second, hypothesis is true, something else is true, number two. These both are the first things you need to start off with. This is like hypothesis comes when you have read literature. So you have read lots of textbooks, you have read uh, current papers and you are coming up with an explanation. Now that explanation is true, something else must be true. Okay. Now first. You should be convinced yourself that this explains this. Okay. Now I'm just asking that question. Now internet is slow. Can you just refine that? I think people are having difficulty in accepting internet is slow per se. Can you just refine it? How will internet slow mean that observation is true? The page loading often takes time when the bandwidth so, has been used by us, allotted bandwidth, or maybe too many PCs are operating at the same time. Yeah, okay. higher traffic on the... Yes. So, so this may lessen the speed of net. Okay, anybody... Uh, this, this is not a hypothesis. This is hypothesis. This is, hypothesis. This is the hypothesis. No, no, we're not coming to prediction. I'm just trying to understand whether hypothesis explains observation first. I, we had I some... I yeah? need to refine this particular hypothesis. Yes. Higher traffic on the same network. This is that. That's why server not responding is coming. Higher, so internet internet uh, speed is same, but as most of the many users are using it, that's why higher traffic I am talking about. Higher traffic to what? Higher traffic on the internet and on the same network. Higher traffic on the same network. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So which is which is it that you are saying? Is it LAN or WAN? WAN. It is internet connection. Hmm? So, when you say internet is slow, you mean van is, con van LAN. is slow? I am talking about LAN. LAN is slow. No, I am talking about my predictions. No, not predictions are later. Now, I when you say internet is not, internet is slow. When you mean internet is slow, do you mean the network within your college is slow? Or do you mean the network which is LAN? or network from your college to your service provider, say Vodafone or something, that is slow. What do you mean by internet is slow? Second one? Which one is that? No, let's see what he has in mind. My college, the speed which my college is getting from the service provider, it is low. Okay. So, so now we have refined the statement. Her, uh, this one is the service provider, let's say uh, MTNL, to her college that connection is slow okay is now i want 
people to see if it is okay, whether that hypothesis explains the observation. Sir, we are not responding. Actually, talk about a particular service. Yes. It doesn't bother, it doesn't talk about the internet and all. If there is an internet connection only, we will get the server responding, not message. Server not responding message. So the no, no, no. She, she didn't say internet failure. She said internet is slow. So the so internet is, although the internet is slow, we are not able to get this message. Server not responding. Because Why? the server implies, suppose for example, server not responding comes only, say for example, www.google.com. If you type the URL like this. Okay, the server not responding is server not responding comes only when the Google server is shut down. Uh, that hold, situation hold on. only server not no, responding okay, comes yeah, yeah. or let, it, let it finish. Yeah, go ahead. Only the Google server shut down or the connection to the Google server is not there. Only that particular situation only we may, we can able to get the message like that, sir. Now what she is claiming is that this network. Okay, so this no, is the, the service provider not come here. They not come into the picture here. One second, one second. Okay. So, her, her this one is <laughs> LAN. Okay. LAN is connected to MTNL. Okay, or BSNL, whatever. And BSNL will take the traffic to Google and then get it back. Okay. Now, um, Madam, what's your name? Sandhya. Sandhya. Sandhya says that this link is slow. Okay. Sandhya claims that this link is slow. And your name? Gopi. Gopi. Gopi says that if this link is slow, it cannot give this error. Okay. How many of you agree with Sandhya? How many of you agree with Gopi? <laughs> Doesn't add up. Okay. Um, Technology converted into democratic oh, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I want people to take <laughs> some decisions. People are not able to take decisions. So, okay. Now, all right. So, Let's leave this controversy for some time and we'll come up. <laughs> yes, you have some point? You know, uh, the same dilemma I am having because I don't have that technical knowledge and you are putting out that things. Okay. Yes, please. Uh, what is the reason why we are putting out that things? Okay. Yes, please. Why we are, why uh, Sandhya is saying like that? Because there is a server not responding comes with some timeout message. Correct. Right? When some packets, I am just uh, talking correct, a little bit technically. When some packets were sent from LAN to WAN, right? It has some 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 time limit has been sent to get back the return packet, right? If that acknowledgement was not received, server is there. Server gets that particular packet. Uh, Google server gets that particular packet. It sends acknowledgement packet. But as my LAN or my internal setting setting the timeout setting was, for example, two seconds, and if it is not received on LAN, I will got the message that server not responding with timeout error. Yes. That's why it is Copy. server is there, but it is. Due to the time packet and time, slow machine, that packet was not received on time, whatever the time set by the uh, internal network. That okay. was the issue. Right. No, 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 you're coming to the prediction test. No. Yeah. See, all of us, I'm not saying that we'll not be able to troubleshoot this, but what I'm trying to say is take a simple problem such as this. If we are able to define to ourselves what is hypothesis, what is prediction, then any anything that we do in a, a technical report or anything that we write we will be clear of what are the things that we contributed and that has to be clear to the audience who read that or uh, listen to that did you come up with a new hypothesis <laughs> i'm saying i'm saying that the audience should be able to answer the question did you come up with a new hypothesis or somebody came up with the hypothesis and you are just predicting, you are just carrying out the prediction test or you are just carrying out and you have found a new observation. All of these things are possible. But you must be clear to yourself that what is it that you have contributed? Have you contributed to a new observation? Have you contributed to a new hypothesis? Sometimes all, all may not be possible in one single communication. When you write a 
a project report, maybe all four are there. But when you give a short presentation or something, yes. This and prediction and test. By these four things, one thing is coming out. That is the cream of the communication. That is your brain mapping, brainstorming, mm -hmm. right? With the help of that brainstorming, if you are going to communicate in proper manner, on the technical manner, that should be highlighted to your technical communication. Brainstorming must be there. Then only we can develop it. No, brainstorming comes. See, hypothesis to prediction, while you are coming for that, hypothesis is your guess. Yes. Right? Prediction is purely true or partially true. It's more than the hypothesis. When you are going to develop that, uh, policy that hypothesis, the prediction will come out. Right. Right? Right. So how to prove it? Again, we are going to say, my, whether my prediction is right or wrong, with the help of that test only, we are coming to that. Correct. Right? Right. So for that reason only, brainstorming is going on. Yeah. <laughs> right? Brainstorming? So unless, until, unless until you are coming with one observation and one hypothesis, how could you develop the second hypothesis? S second hypothesis. You mm. have asked me, right, right. did you go or did you think about that second hypothesis? Mm. Unless until you clear it. So brainstorming plays a vital role in yeah. the so communication, what I'm going to do. Essentially is this part this or part. this part. Huh. The, Hypothesis so and the, prediction. No, the, see basically you have an explanation. You brainstorm essentially is what you are reading a lot of literature or you're discussing with people and understanding what is possible, what is not possible. So that one is part of this explanation itself. This is the link between these both, hypothesis and this one, whether it is possible, how it is possible, is the brainstorming part which you are doing now. We are just finding out whether it is possible at all or not. Observation to hypothesis. Yes. Observation to hypothesis, see, if you have observed something else, then you can guess it. No, we are not able to. You saw two guesses where not people were not agreeing on. Let us take the example of. Uh, that was a trivial uh, thing. See, one example is there. I don't, I don't have that much idea that whether the server not responding or like these things. What it may be the technical things are there. But when I have thought about that, how to operate if, if my power uh, failure, uh, laptop is power failure or, or it is on the black. First, when I have observed, this is the very common. Second one. I may guess this is either power failure or my system's problem. To prove that, I have to predict. Correct. Right? So here I am playing the role of the brainstorming more rather than observation to hypothesis. No. Or have to hypothesis to prediction is literally it, it becomes the brainstorming more. No. I, unless, so hypothesis explains observation, there is no point in uh, going to the prediction at all. And then immediately how could you give that? Observation you have... I am saying, sir. This, this is a link, this is an explanation, this is a causative mechanism. Hypothesis is a causative mechanism. How does the cause lead both observation and prediction are, are all observations in a sense. Okay? This is observation 1, this is observation 2 which has to be done in future. right? Now, the causative mechanism is this, this is the link is the causative mechanism. You're saying, if this is there, this, ex, this is explained by this, this is another, exp, another observation which is also explained by this. So now to come up with this, you're brainstorming whatever you're saying, is basically trying to see if this link exists. See if this link exists, that is the brainstorming and that comes only from your prior knowledge. Okay, you use your prior knowledge, you go up, look up the textbooks, you look up literature, you consult other experts and then you come up with this prior, what, we, what he says is brainstorming is just this. You look at various possibilities that yeah. are here. So that is there both here, first of all, this should be true. You cannot simply take a guess which does not explain this. See, this is a triangular series, sir. Observation, hypothesis and prediction, I am talking about it. Forget about that test. Observation, when you have observed, then automatically you are having some hypothesis. Anything, something is going on if you are no, going to you're, see. You're, you cannot take a random guess. Uh, no. Right? Mm -hmm. no, no, that guess that you, what you are saying as guess, there is a word that although it is used as a guess, ah, yeah. it is not a guess without any knowledge. No, no. There has to be, see for example, it, take this simple example that we saw. Uh, Sandhya said one thing. Uh, yeah. He refuted, he refined it. And then probably we'll That's have some more refusion. We are still in this stage. 
first age only yes, yes. yes. and so that so now somebody will come up with a prediction again then we will have to uh, go yes. through this iterative process whether it is acceptable yeah. the prediction is acceptable or not again for that observation only you have to think about that no hmm? no no for this this explanation just as you did brainstorming now we will do some brainstorming for prediction also there might be some prediction which may not be explainable explained by this hypothesis right okay so brainstorming is required but that is required equally in this you cannot take an arbitrary guess and say uh -huh. that it will be i'm not talking uh, that, that requires, arbitrary we can take huh? yeah. but when it is linked to that then we should play the role of your brainstorming and brainstorming is playing the uh, vital role in our communications sure. sir what Fine is that. the dispute about i still could not follow there is no dispute <laughs> He is just... Okay. Sir, I have an so, hypothesis. Please. Uh, let sir, me just finish off this one particular thing sir, or... Uh, sir, just one minute, sir. Yeah, sorry. Uh, this is just regarding... So, my name is Sundar, not just Sir. Just an adjoint to this. My name is Sundar. Uh, my name is Nagesh, sir. Uh. From <laughs> <laughs> I said uh, my name is Sundar, please call me Sundar. <laughs> I, we don't feel like calling you. We'll call sir, sir. No, please, I sir. I think there shouldn't be any objection. No. Sir, so the thing is, sir, first all of us are clear with observation because you have given the observation. So our work starts from hypothesis. The discussion is going only on hypothesis. And hypothesis should be such that you can prove or disprove at a later stage. Correct. Now the hypotheses which are formulated are getting disproved at the early stage. That means they are not hypothesis. No, no. Sir, so there is not... So basically, uh, this... This link is where you need to be very strong. See, when I give a problem, you just came out with an uh, explanation. But unless you are very sure of this explanation, which means that you need to understand what is this message, what sends this message. Can you, anybody tell where you get this message from? Is it from the firewall? Sir. Hold, hold on, hold on. Server, hold on. Server not responding. Where do you get this? Which, which is the? Sundar, can I? Let me finish the question. Sundar, can I interrupt just a minute? Uh, let me finish. Let me finish, and then I'll give you a report. Web server. Web which, server. Wait, wait, wait. Which is the entity that gives you this message? Is it? Web browser, sir. Is it the browser? Is it your firewall? Is it the? Um, your uh, MTNL or whatever service provider, or is it Google? Web servers. Browser, sir. Web browser. browser. Is it web the browser? browser? Web browser, sir. Okay. Anybody knows uh, what is DNS? Domain name server. Exactly. Yeah? Domain, Domain name, name server. server. Okay. Uh, so there is one thing also sitting in between. Okay, I'm just going to little bit technicalities. So there is this Sundar. DNS which is sitting in between. Oh, this will not come. Okay, there is a DNS sitting in between, and this message actually comes from. Where does this message come from? Service provider server, which is MTNL server. Uh, excuse me, Sundar. Okay, so now. Now that I've given you some more things to think, you can go ahead, but I, I think I'll yeah. let you I'm speak. just uh, actually going to talk more about the specific observation. Okay. Because I believe the most of the confusion is happening because people are, perception of server not responding is not very clear mm -hmm. based upon the message because there can be a very pre precise message that you receive is either connection refused or connection timed out or otherwise it could be a white screen of death. It's not white screen. You're getting okay. some. So you're not talking of a white screen of a No, no, not white screen. So either they're not responding is like a message yeah. that so you So otherwise you are you are not talking of connection timed out, you're not talking of connection refused. Um, because they could also be perceived as a server not responding. Okay. So maybe you can think it as a connection timed out, equivalent to that. Okay, server connection not timed responding. Out. Because connection accordingly timed the hypothesis out. will completely change the depending upon whether you're talking of refused connection Fine. or whether it's a so connection timed, out, timed connection. out. So let's server not responding is equivalent to connection timed out is a message you are saying, okay. not white screen. Okay. Okay? So thanks for refining it. Okay. It's connection timed out. Okay? Server not responding is connection timed out. So now that I've given you some background, okay, there are different entities there. There's a browser 
there's a firewall, there's a DNS, there's MTNL, there is Google. Now you have to construct, now think of constructing a hypothesis which first explains this as, uh, what's your name please? Uh, Harshad. Huh? Harshad. Harshad. So Harshad refined that observation as connection timed out. Also, additionally connection timed out. Okay, so now let's go through another 5-10 minutes of come up with some... Sir, I have a hypothesis. Uh, <laughs> 10 minutes? I'll give you first opportunity after 10 minutes. Yes, sir. Okay, let, let people try to come up with whatever you had possibly. Uh, here, after test, the first test, can I go for a second test? Because see now, uh, one of the hypotheses what I framed... No, 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 don't tell. There, no, don't, I'm not don't telling Don't reveal now. the hypothesis. No, no, I'm not telling. Uh, in that, sometimes I may feel like going for the second test. Okay. Yeah, you can. So, so after that, uh, I may come to hypothesis, the new hypothesis. Correct. So test essentially, um, so it is not second test. Basically, you're having second prediction. You have two predictions. Okay. It's not, each prediction will have one test, no? Okay. So uh, and pr uh, probably you're having a second prediction the, of the same the, uh, yeah, hypothesis. Then, then the loop will again... Uh, I meet after the hypothesis. I will take this point. It's an important point. I'll just take it. Let's go through it. I'll, I'll take that point. Yeah. One more uh, point I wanted to tell. Uh, with the absence of uh, prior knowledge, hmm. so, uh, maybe all this, whatever we were discussing, uh, most of the time we may skip all the steps and we may go for taking the uh, like help of others. Correct. Now, in this case, if I'm uh, coming to, like, if I'm getting this particular <laughs> error, and I am uh, not aware of what is the error, all these things, then directly I'll call the system admin. <laughs> so, so, we're not asking you to troubleshoot. We're asking you to give a given a situation, try to troubleshoot. Yeah, no, Try no. to find what are the steps. No, just of course. why, why, why yeah, I, I told this is because so much discussion was going on. So, no, that, no, no because, fine. no, the question uh, here was mainly based on like the observation, like uh, the link between observation to hypothesis. Correct. Thank you. Now you're coming with a hypothesis. I don't want general comments. Okay. Please keep your hypothesis for yourself. We'll discuss. We'll have time. We have a lot of time. What is the role of alternative hypothesis? There are two hypotheses. There are hypotheses. <laughs> alternative hypotheses. We have not talked about uh, alternative, uh, uh, null or alternative. So essentially, when you come to, uh, uh, when you reject, you, you go with that, right? right. So that's the second. Sir, is that the second uh, hypothesis? I'm sorry, I'm saying, you assume that one hypothesis fails and go to this. I mean, no, normally, in a null hypothesis will make it exactly opposite to that. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, yeah, that is a. Mm. Because we are from research, that's I know. why I asked this uh, management studies. So, we, we deal with a lot of uh, null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis. We never talked about prediction uh, as per our. Uh, so no, there would be. I mean, maybe it is not, you don't use it in that terminology. I need to look at your literature. I don't know about your literature. This is testing. What you do in statistics, don't link that word here. Well, they are linked, of course, but... So, this is in much broader sense. So, even... This is here. No, even it's there. It's a conjuncture. For example, so the you come up with... A, I, I will definitely take this point. I'll look up. Because there, the testing, what you do, no? that uh, you think that the, it is explained by a particular model, right? A linear model or some model that you have, something like yeah. that, yeah. right? Yeah. Some, you'll have a model. So, so that model's prediction, uh, how go you, probably you'll take a chi-square or something like that and yeah. see, reject or not, right? So, so that will be like a prediction. In, in a sense, it's, it's a prediction. The s s steps are the same. Whether you accept or reject is that step, last step. So I need to see the terminology and match it. I, we will do that. I'll keep this point in mind. The uh, prediction thing can be part of. Uh, yeah, the term. we will come to that. So the next, the next lecture will bring that thing little more clearly. Where does literature review come and where does communication come? Will be the next 
forming hypothesis sorry we go for testing and to prove uh, the hypothesis true or not Correct. then what is the need for prediction is it necessary for prediction prediction is what is it that you are saying is true or not no we are uh, framed hypothesis Correct. and directly you go for testing Correct. The, by testing the test what? testing the hypothesis no 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 St how do you test the hypothesis you, your hypothesis is basically an explanation for this but if this is true you need to come up with something else which is true. You are not testing this. There is no question of testing this. See, the other thing that we need to understand is we are trying to understand or develop, do this exercise in the context of how a scientific theory develops. Okay. So, in a specific observation like my laptop has failed, okay, the hypothesis that I advance may not be necessary to explain laptops in the world. Okay, but you now we are doing a mock exercise here to learn how a scientific theory develops. Okay, so a necessary part of a scientific theory is that it should be able to predict some other phenomena. Okay, see the the thing that you know uh, apple falls on the earth because of gravity is also able to explain that moon falls towards the earth and rotates. Okay, so I'm able to predict something else because of the same causative explanation and show that it works. Okay, that is how a scientific theory develops. And if, if, if moon is working and apple is working, I want to show that, you know, something else. See, for example, I want to show that earth is rotating around the sun because of the same causative mechanism, which is gravitation. That is how the theory develops. That's what we're trying to see. Okay, we are given a very simple example which, you know, can will cut across. So, it, it doesn't matter, now some of you are saying that, you know, I don't know what is this. Well, when, uh, you know, initially Aristotle came up with some explanations for some of the phenomena, he, you know, he didn't know the DNA is at work. You know, he said, you know, you keep some wet cloth and a moth will be born or whatever. So, explanations which were, so maybe your ex first hypothesis that you are giving is, like uh, something which is meaningless, fine, doesn't matter. Okay, now think of a situation that you land up in a village and where you are the most educated person and the laptop in some school has failed. Okay, now you are, people are looking at you and saying, now come up with an explanation. Okay, so you will have probably a better calculated guess than a person who is, you know, a villager, won't you? I mean, I would expect that, you know, even though you are not a computer expert, you would have a better guess than a person who is a villager. So we are expecting you, the levels might be different, you know. Some of you might be actually communication experts and might be able to come up with very, very refined hypothesis. Okay, doesn't matter. What we want to, what we want to communicate is that how a scientific theory, how a scientific model, how a hypothesis develops. That's what we want to look at, not a specific problem. Okay, it's only a vehicle. This particular problem is only a vehicle to, you know, reflect upon how a theory develops. We have to write. Yeah, we have to write. Yeah, <laughs> we have to write. We will quickly take up maybe one or two hypotheses after, and then we'll wind up. Uh, I am Amit from Anand Gujarat. Is it possible to have a different hypothesis for the same problem? then why we are discussing that only one hypothesis should be correct? No. See, maybe thinking of a simplest one and one having a more knowledge, maybe think correct, of a correct. complex one. That's true. Very, no, no. In fact, the, when I asked you to come up with four different hypotheses, it essentially means that all four should explain the observation first. But what I, I just, I told you that, assume that each of those hypotheses fails. Because anything can be an explanation. Hey, what, so what? Yeah. What there I feel is, is no we, are, we are going in, we are going in root causes instead of uh, making the assumptions. We go to very depth of the, what is the root cause for this server is not responding. Exactly. That, that won't be the objective of when you are finding a simplest hypothesis. No, 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 no. Root cause is cause, is one, one of the causes. So there are different levels of causes, right? Now, when you when, take this power display failure, everything is a cause. General power failure is a cause. One phase supply gone, that is a cause. 
plug point is loose, that is a cause. Or that display, LED of that display has gone, that is a cause. All of them are causes. There's nothing like a root cause. There's, all of them are causes. If you say that way root cause, some electrons are not moving. That's too... So in that case also the no. is that what ma'am has proposed None of is them, correct? No, 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 no. The dispute there was not whether that explain because we don't we don't have a particular situation at hand. No, each of the observations can be have have this uh, sorry each of this hypothesis can be true or not true. But what we are not what we are trying to understand is whether. The hypothesis explains the observation first. But an explanation that depends on the technical knowledge what we have. That is okay. That is okay. And that is fine. That's why. So it may differ. People, yeah. No. No. It no. It may no, differ. No. That's why p two people who are having technical knowledge are arguing. He he argued. Then Gopi added something. Then your Gopi, no? Your Gopi. <laughs> so um, Ravi said something. So they are arguing technically, which is fine. I am not saying that that is wrong or this is wrong. Every hypo whether. That hypothesis explains an observation that you should be sure first. That's what they are arguing about, which is okay. So can we just quickly have one hypothesis that you wanted to have first? Yes. Uh, what sir, is your name? I am Pradeep from uh, Hubli, sir. K Hubli, K okay. So IP address is not configured as uh, is one hypothesis. IP address? Is not configured with the server's IP address, with the server's address. Mm. You mean in DNS it is not? No. No, so I, that will not explain that. I, I'll just go. Anybody else there? Hello, Sunil from Odisha. Server is uploading, so it is not responding. Server is what? File or data, any result is uploading. So sometime message is coming. Server is uploading? Yeah, file is uploading in server. Result or something. Uh, you mean the server is busy? Yeah. Server is busy and not attending to your request? Yeah. Okay. Sir, I am KV Nagarjuna from uh, Hyderabad. From where? Hyderabad. Hyderabad. A hypothesis is uh, like uh, the observation is server not responding and the hypothesis is no connection from one system to the another system. That is what from is system client system? to server. There is no connection, network connection. Okay. There is no network connection, connection from? One system to another. That means client, client to server. The client is here. So the client is uh, one of the things which is here. Yes. And the server is here. You are saying that this connection is not there. Not there. Okay. And the prediction is network related command should not work. Like? Like uh, there is a network related command which tells us whether the server, there is a connectivity from one system to another system. Mm -hmm. Ping. 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 And then uh, IP address of the destination system. Okay. So that this one. Yeah. So now is this... Uh, Consistent? Anybody has? Uh, yes. No, ping is no, no. But if, if it is just the. What is saying? There is no connection between the two systems. The local host and the remote host are not connected. Itself is a host not reachable. You won't get server uh, not responding or connection timed out. Yes, sir. That kind of error won't come. What does the browser give in host not responding? Host unreachable. Your host not reachable. Host not reachable will be the message that you will get from browser. Okay, so at least uh, this is a little bit finer details, but to the good extent to the starting, it is let's say it is okay for them. I agree with you. Uh, yeah. It may not be the network failure, but it is communication failure. No, 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 no. <laughs> we don't know what is happening in this particular situation. All you should, all you can say is that whether this explains for, um, what's your name? Sorry, Harshad. Harshad. Harshad? He is a technical person, he, is, he knows exactly what's happening. So he's saying that this is not exact message that will be received. But at least to many laymen that this connection there is some issue. Okay? Whether it is a slow or not at all reachable, some connection issue with this connection. Then what will be a prediction? He says that ping will not work and what else will not work? Any website should not work. Correct. If this one fails, none of the other sites should, all of them should have the same thing. Correct? So that will be a prediction. Yeah, Harshad. But what if in this situation ping works? No, no, no. no, no. So that fails. The hypothesis is like, okay, fine, that there is no connection. 
So his test is like run a ping command. Now if I run a ping and I get a ping reply. So, so there are many, many possibilities. Right? And what's so ignoring? No response is possible. That's true, but what I'm saying, okay, just take a most. No, no, that's true. No, no, no. If, if ping succeeds. Yes, that means your server your is connected. Is wrong. That means your server is connected to the no, no. network. Harshad. Yes. No, no. Uh, the, the general uh, spirit of his, this one was there was a problem with this network, but all this network are all fine. That is his spirit. Okay, so whether it's specific where ping works or it takes long time to respond is slightly. His hypothesis was something problem with this network. Okay, which means if all the WAN network is having a problem, any other server should have the same problem. Same problem. So that will be an independent prediction. And it is not a particular problem with only Google server. Okay, for example, it could be that only Google server is down. If that can be an hypothesis, okay, that Google server is down, server not responding, that can be a prediction, uh, hypothesis. If Google's, if your hypothesis is only Google server is down, which means Yahoo server should work, right, or any other server should work. So that is a prediction which will be true if this is that is everything else is up, only this is down. So the hypothesis is general network is up, but only Google is down. So consequence of that is any other server should work. Okay, so that is, so of course test is go and test. So test is basically a simple action, but these both should be consistent with your hypothesis. Okay, so we will stop here. We'll just have another 10-15 uh, minutes for the last module. And then we'll break. So we will do some activity of this sort in your um, December workshop. So at that time, you need to be able to guide your teachers into what is a prediction and what is a hypothesis. They should not come up with guesses for uh, do this or do that, they will say. That's the first thing that happens. Do this, check this, check that. That is not a hypothesis. Okay? These are the things you need to bring out. We'll also be guiding, but we cannot look at all of you, it's, uh, you have to uh, monitor your own local uh, people and then guide them. And if there are some questions like this, we'll take it up so that everybody else can uh, listen. Okay, so I'll give to Sachin to last, for the last one now.